back to my channel if you're new here my name is Haley, and today i am super stoked because i'm going to be doing my first ever reading vlog i have been sucked down a rabbit hole watching everyone's like read with me vlogs here on youtube so i decided i would do one myself the book that i'm going to be reading today is things we never got over by lucy score i decided to do this one since it's kind of a chunk little bit of a long one and it's also such a popular book this is like one of the most highly recommended books to me here on my channel so I feel like a lot of you guys have already read this one in today's video I am going to be reading this bad boy I've been so intimidated and like putting off this book for so long because like a lot of the books that I read are just like shorter 300 pages and this one's a little bit over 500 since i'm going to be kind of like talking about the book and sharing my thoughts while i read along there will be some spoilers in here so fair warning if you guys have not read this book yet those are my only plans for the day and maybe the rest of the week depending on how long it takes me to get through this but first we gotta get coffee hi buddy you want to get coffee i'll go get coffee How you doing? Sneezies? I had to stop and get gas and it was five million dollars, but we're on our way. We're ready! Who's ready? Let's go! I got my coffee. It is the biggest mess ever. Oh my gosh, it's spilling everywhere. You want to up? Delicious. Oh, excuse me! Okay, now that I'm nice and caffeinated, I can finally get started on this book, but I don't really I don't really have any expectations. Like I know the back says that she has an evil twin. We have like a runaway bride situation. Then we have Knox who kind of steps in to help with Naomi's imploded life. So you know, pretty standard. Just from the way like the book description is written, I'm expecting it to be like a little bit cheesy, especially, you know mabel twin storyline but we'll see chapter one descriptions of this man right off the bat are killing me the bad-tempered sexy man beast the blonde god of sexy fury was rapidly plummeting lower on my sexy checklist love that a quick side note because these are just too cute to not share but one of my sweet followers has a little etsy called clover and co i'll link it in my description box they sent over a bunch of their bookmarks including these little custom ones and i'm going to use it today which one should i use lady uh, she said, um, mine, of course. Hey, seriously, how cute is that? They're magnetic, too. Chapter two. Okay, I'm taking a little break to make some food, but I am on chapter six now. It's definitely leaning into like the, the grumpy meets sunshine trope, which I really like. I feel like things are moving so fast. Like it just starts off and it's like, all right, well, your sister stole your car and now you have to take care of this niece that you didn't know you had. Also, Knox is so aggressive and the way that he talks about women, I don't really love, but He's like, I'm just looking for women that want a good time and a few orgasms. Sure. But so far, I'm really liking it.
Okay, listen, you guys, I'm a little bit over 100 pages in. Obviously, I have like 400 to go, but so far, I feel like I'm not the biggest fan of Knox, and obviously, there's still a lot of time for his character to develop and everything, but he's just so gruff and angry to a point where it's like, it's just giving me like angry man and I'm afraid I feel like he's just a little bit too aggressive for my taste so far but I don't know usually when I'm like this far into a book I start to feel a little bit more about the characters and so far like I don't really care for either one very much yet but it's still an interesting story like I don't hate the book or anything <laughs> guys i ended up having to go to the car dealership last night so i didn't get to read much but basically where i left off yesterday is naomi had her first shift at the restaurant the honky tonk they found her stolen car at the chop shop and then child protective services showed up for like a meet and greet situation at her little sunday dinner party but nothing has really come of that yet and right now her and Knox and waylon just went back to school shopping and it all turned out to be like a big ruse because Knox was trying to protect her or keep her away from some guy that just showed up in town i think his name is henry golding so that's where i'm at right now honestly i feel like nothing is really happening in the book it's just like a lot of back and forth between Knox and naomi tina is still mia i don't know maybe now that this henry golding character has showed up we're getting somewhere so i'm going to start reading again i am going to fill up my coffee because it's like all watered down since i was doing my makeup and yeah picked up this coffee from Target last night. It is honestly not that good, but I do have a perfect bar that I'm going to snack on for breakfast and these are delicious. an update apparently the harry golding thing was a joke it's actually just steph the best friend who i really really love so far i also really like a little makeover scene so i appreciated that but things are finally picking up let me see where i'm officially at I just got to page 213 and nash the hot wind of tina being near town so they think that she's going to come back soon and they also think the ex fiance is going to pop up soon so i think things are picking up but i will say although it's not necessarily slow like it's still interesting to read there's just not much happening and we're 200 pages in so also i'm finally warming up a little bit to Knox. i don't love him necessarily he's still a little bit too aggressive for my taste but he's getting better I like that he actually gives a shit about Wele. They haven't really spoken much about him and Nash's past, but obviously there's like some foreshadowing of similarities between their childhoods, I think. I'm sure it'll fill in the gaps somewhere in the next like 300 pages, which I'm honestly really interested to know more about. I wanna know what the backstory is with Liza J. So it took 200 pages, but we're getting somewhere. Okay, I just got to the part where Knox and Naomi have their first kiss at the hospital. There's been so much sexual tension. I'm like, come on guys, I've been waiting for this. Getting into the spicy scenes, I have to say the writing is really cringe here. Like this is awful. You guys, I can't, I can't read this. It's so bad. Okay, I have an update for you guys. I am currently on page 325, a little over halfway into the book. And I told you guys from the very beginning, I don't really love Knox's character. But right now is when they're getting like all hot and heavy, him and Naomi. And the sex scenes are just 
so hard to get through there's just so much cringe the lines are weird i hate hate how he just has to throw baby in every line that's like one of my biggest pet peeves i don't like the pet name baby in real life and especially like reading it it just never comes across as natural it's not my favorite also we have like every trope ever in here we have the enemies to lovers we're now fake dating because naomi's parents are here i don't really understand like i get they walked in on like the one night stand thing but you i don't know Knox is just like too all in all of a sudden like literally just a change overnight your brother's in the hospital and then everything changes it feels kind of rushed it feels very weird he's coming on very strong and like very relationship heavy which he was so against i don't know honestly i don't know how i'm feeling about this book so far it's not that it's like a bad book it's just okay especially for the length like i would expect a little bit more going on but there's just there's really nothing happening i thought things were picking up when they had the illegal poker game when the brother cop got shot it's like we're very 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 slowly building up to something and i'm just i'm just waiting for the something to happen where is tina why am i over 300 pages in and no sight of tina so those are my thoughts so far i feel like this is not going to be a favorite book of mine but we're pushing through okay It is almost 11 p.m. right now. I just finished this book two days later and to be totally honest with you, I feel like if I wasn't recording this video, this would be a DNF just because it was so drawn out for no reason. Like this really could have been 300 pages shorter. The ending was so disappointing. It took 500 pages to finally catch up with the evil twin who honestly, not that evil. The ending was so ridiculously cheesy and rushed and anticlimactic. Like this was so disappointing. And I honestly, I did go in with higher expectations, which I really need to stop doing because I feel like this keeps happening to me. Every time I read something that's super highly recommended to me directly or even just on booktube or book talk, I am so disappointed and I don't know if I'm just like expecting more from everybody's rave reviews but like a lot of people that I follow and watch videos of here on YouTube this is a five star read for them and I feel like three stars is extremely generous for this book it was just a little bit too corny for me and I love a good corny read I'm not going to lie but this just like the writing it didn't sit well with me I told you i started to warm up to Knox, and they gave us like the tiniest glimmer of his past and why he is the way he is but for almost 600 pages i feel like we could have gotten a way better backstory instead of 500 pages of the main character crying over how she's not caffeinated enough and the sex scenes in here are just absolutely criminal if you thought colleen hoover was a little raunchy a little a little tough to read in those areas this was another level i like i had to like skip over those pages because it was just it wasn't a turn on to read it's like kind of revolting <laughs> all in all i have to say i'm extremely disappointed with this book i didn't love it and like i said i think i would give this one three stars but i definitely wouldn't recommend anyone go out of their way to read this i didn't really love the story there's so many things that could have been good with this story but it just was executed so Poorly. The only functioning character in this entire book, and there's like a million characters in here that you have to keep up with, is the 11 year old. Why was she the one that was the most put together? I don't know you guys, this, this didn't do it for me. And I'm sorry that I chose this book to do my first reading vlog to. So sorry if this comes across as negative, but like, mm. however, if you did stick around to the end to hear my thoughts, you are a real one. And I appreciate you so much. And thank you. 
for watching. Definitely let me know if you guys are into more reading vlogs like this one. On that note, I am heading to bed, so I will see you guys later. Bye!